guys, it's Shala from Crafting Through the Chaos of Life. Thanks so much for joining me for another video. I am just playing around today, kind of continuing on with this kind of mixed media um, collage thing that I was working on actually in our Saturday Night Live uh, cocktails and crafts that we did um, just last Saturday with my mom. And so if you didn't see that live, um, we went live for two hours two hours I think and uh, we were just crafting mom was doing her quilting I was doing my collaging and yeah so um, what I did here is this is an eight and a half by 14 piece of cardstock and what I did is I just collaged papers um, in the beginning I was trying to keep kind of colors together keeping kind of a color theme and then I realized I don't know why I'm doing that because I'm actually going to put gesso over it and stamp over it and do a whole bunch of other things. So then what I did is I just kind of slapped down all sorts of papers, collage papers, didn't matter, and then I put some gesso on. Then my son was so sweet, he came and hung out with us as well, and he wanted to do some gessoing on here. So, um, well, it's cocktails and crafts, so obviously um, I was drinking. So... <laughs> Um, I forgot to pay attention to what my son was doing and I was having a good time watching my mom and answering some questions. So, uh, he ended up getting a little heavy handed more so than I wanted with the gesso, but you know what? That's okay. Um, you can still see the papers kind of underneath that stamping. So then I let the gesso dry and then I stamped with this amazing stamp from Stamperia. Um, it is the Traveler News. It's one piece. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous stamp. Like, look at this. Loved it. So I just stamped it here like that. And I used um, one of my favorite inks, which is Versafine Claire Nocturne Ink. I love this because when you have really, really detailed stamps such as this one, it really gets the ink just so beautifully on the stamp itself. Now this was the first time I used it so it didn't stamp perfectly because the stamp hadn't been primed so the more times you use your stamps the better they will stamp. Um, I got this one at Scrap and Dippity in the South Calgary area and it was $28.90 um, which I didn't think was really bad for this size of stamp, especially Stamperia. So, um, like I said, when you have your stamps more seasoned, um, if you're using for the first time, what you can do is actually use clear Versify and like the watermark ink and just really, um, you know, put it all over the stamp and then stamp it off. Um, you can emboss with it if you want, but putting that little bit of ink on there first just kind of really seasons that stamp and really helps um, the stamp to kind of absorb more ink. So the more times I use the stamp, the better impressions I'm going to get. And like I said, because it is a very detailed stamp, um, this is my go-to ink. A stays on is really good if you don't want smudging, but I find it doesn't get as fine of detail. So this is my go-to one. All right, enough said. Uh, let's continue on. So again, um, because this was the Versafine ink, it was it's a little more wet and I had to give that time to dry. So we have the layer of collage papers. We then have some white gesso. Then we have um, some black stamping over top. Um, I did try doing a little bit of stamping with this dot stamp that I had um, with the salvaged patina. I mean, you can kind of see it, sort of little dots there um, but it wasn't dark enough and then um, I didn't really find another color that I really wanted to use so I just kind of stamped it a bit over in this area here which is okay because this is going to end up getting cut up um, we want to make like little um, clusters out of these so it's going to all be cut up anyway so it doesn't matter that that's not over the whole thing and that it's not really noticeable not a big deal the other thing I want to do is I have, I got these Recollections um, paints. They're signature special paints and they're like got texture to them. Um, they're a little bit gritty, gold flecks in them. Um, I got a whole, a whole bunch of these. Um, 
on clearance. So I don't really know how good they are, but I think they'll still be fun to play with. I think I just kind of have to shake the ever loving, you know what, out of them uh, to mix the pigments up. But I think they should be fine for what we're doing. You can also use um, distress stains. I have some here. Um, we might want to use some liquid pearls. I also have my Nouveau drops behind me. Um, but I also really wanted to play around with gelatos. I haven't done a lot of work with them. I bought them um, wanting to use them and I just I really haven't found anything that I wanted to use them on until now. So I want to use these um, on here and just kind of do some marking. Um, so let's go ahead and start with that. I do need a little bit of water. I put um, a re-inker in my water bottle um, and I was meant to get a new water bottle but I've Got. So I'm just going to use this eyedropper to wet the gelato so I can move it around. Now I don't have dark colors like I necessarily might want, like the browns and stuff, but I think that's where I can bring in like some of these um, if I want that. So this one's quite nice. I'm going to put my glasses on to see if I can see a name on it. It's kind of like a gold. So yeah, it's, it looks like it's got a sparkle in it. So let's play around with this one a bit. And we'll just kind of kind of put this here and there. That's the fun thing about gelatos is you don't really have to, you know, be too too particular. Yeah, this is a really nice gold. I like that. Okay, so we'll just kind of. I wish I had my little spray bottle. I'm gonna just take a peek and see if I can find my wee tiny one that I have, which. Found it. Yay! Oops. As I made a mess. Like this thing is so tiny. Um, so I'm just going to use this eyedropper to fill it up. Because I think if I actually drop water on it, it's going to be too much. I want like a light mist. So we'll just rob from Peter to pay Paul here and get this going. So I hope you guys are doing well and that you're able to find some creative time today. If you are crafting along with me or being creative with me, um, let me know down below what you are working on. Oh, look at that. Oh, I love that. Um, yeah, I'd be interesting, interested to know um, what you're up to, um, what you're creating. I'm still, I'm still trying to get all these journals done that I like literally have prepared for and I still haven't finished one of them like I need to get my poop in a group and just get it done but um you know I think if you again if you heard my live there um I ended up getting struck with vertigo and I've never had it before so it really put a kibosh on things and I was really struggling um Saturday night just because I'm still kind of like spinning a little bit. I feel so much better today though. Oh wow, like what a difference. So yeah, I'm getting there. I am getting there. Um, I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Um, we, uh, blah, blah, blah. so today is actually Thanksgiving Monday um, that I'm filming this. Um, and so we had our Thanksgiving dinner last night. Um, well, we call it Friendsgiving because it's like friends. So it's my mom um, and a couple other friends and longtime friends of ours. My dear friend Rosanna came. Um, we just had a blast. It was such a good time. And Rosanna's kids hung out with my kids. So yeah, it was a lot of fun. Lots of laughter, lots of fun. So I hope you guys have had a nice Thanksgiving. And yeah, okay, so the orange is, I put a little too much orange on, I think, and it's kind of taking over, but that's okay. Again, we're going to be cutting these up. It's going to be a mystery on how everything turns out. Let's just trust the process. And again, I'm doing more fall types of colors right now. Um, I mean, I don't have to, I can add other colors, which I might, but I just, that's kind of what I'm feeling right now. I'm still in the fall mood. And, uh, yeah, so 
other than that, that's really what's going on. My sons and my husband are off to D and D at the uncles tonight. D and D with the uncles, and my daughter is upstairs working on her. She's got a fairy door in her room and a fairy garden outside, and so she's been having some visits from the fairy, and so she's you know leaving little notes and stuff. Look at that. I think that is looking so good. I love how grungy it is. Um, so yeah, that is what she is doing. I had fun this afternoon. Um, let's try some of this. This is the glitter paint in chocolate. Just got to really shake it. Um, yeah, I had fun. <laughs> I was kind of come down and craft earlier, but then um, my daughter wanted her nails done. And I have this gel nail stuff that I have bought and, um, you know, meaning to do my nails. And of course now I go with my mom to, to get mine done professionally. So, um, I said to her, well, let me, let me try learning and doing, doing gel nails on you. So she was all for that. <laughs> it took like three hours, <laughs> but you know, for my first time I didn't do bad. Um, hmm, you might need some water on this. I don't think it's shaking. Oh, and it's like stuck on there. Um, so yeah, she was a really good sport, even though I like hurt her several times. <laughs> oh, I don't think we're going to get this one open. I have to get my husband to try and open it and see if I can add a little bit of water, but that looks pretty solid in there. Okay. But this one, this one would work. Yeah. This one, oh, this one's a gold. This is yeah, gold. Um, so yeah, that was kind of what my day has been. Um, just a little bit of cleanup left from last night, which again, oh, I'm so lucky you guys. My husband loves doing the turkey um, and cooking and stuff. I am not a really good cook. I know when to, I don't think I'm going to use this guys. I know where my strengths are and cooking is not one of them. Baking, I can bake till the cows come home cooking not so much so he did it all he did all the cooking he made such an amazing meal and I am so thankful and then he was up early this morning um, cleaning up everything because um, I well I was trying to clean up last night but by the time everyone left it was pretty late um, and he said hey let's just you know let's go to bed well he also had a whole bunch of room so um, it's like let's just go to bed and we'll do it in the morning um, so he woke up before me and did all the cleaning and yeah I just had a few little things to do and yeah, so blessed so blessed I want to try this Ken Oliver crafts liquid metallics it says add a dazzling drop of oh, fruit fly uh, metallic luster to everything you create who doesn't want a little metallic luster in everything we create right what would happen Ooh. okay I kind of want the, um, you know, the, the powders, the pigment powders. I think I want some of those. I don't have any of those. If you have those, let me know what you think of them. If you like them, it's the little, little powders that you kind of spritz on and then you spray water and it kind of goes everywhere. Well, that matches the orange, but it's definitely more glittery. Mm, 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 even though that is supposed to be, what color is this? Maybe the copper or something. Shake vigorously. Okay, well, I don't know about that, guys. This one is, oh, there's the, yeah, so this one is metallic mandarin. Okay, that's why it's orange. Metallic mandarin. Read the whole label, shall I? This one is frosted pine. So we've got some oranges and greens, so maybe we'll kind of play around with that. Let's see what this one does. Uh huh. That's dark. Then I also have this one, which is metallic amethyst. I think that's pretty. But these are my alcohol inks over here that I got. And I'm not really sure the alcohol inks are necessarily what I want to do. Okay, so I know you're thinking that this is looking like a hot mess. And, you, you know, you're not wrong. <laughs> but I think we should just trust the process. Let's trust the process. Um... What else do we want to do? I mean, if we don't like it, all we have to do is gesso over it and start over. I mean, 
But I think once we cut it up, it'll all be all right. I think it'll be good. Let's use some red. And some blue. Why not? Let's use all the colors. Well, me. Pinks? Maybe the pinks? I don't know. I could try a little pink. Let's do that. This one's... Ooh. Oh, I think someone in my dear family has used this one because... It looks suspiciously dirty <laughs> to what my, I normally keep my things. So, yeah, other than that, um, what else has really been going on? Not a heck of a lot. Just work, work, and kids, and it's a short week here, so, uh, yeah. Okay. This is looking kind of fun. I just love this little squirt bottle. Nice and tiny. Yeah, I'm kind of liking this. This is a different look. Again, I know you're like, hmm, it's not looking nice to me, but hang on, hang on. We're not done. No, we are not. By far. Well, that kind of, I put a blue and red together and it kind of made that purple. That's kind of cool. I mean, you could use a paintbrush if you wanted to move the, the colors around. I mean, if you saw my video with um, the idiot quilter, he interviewed me. He asked me what my favorite tool was and I said, my fingers, <laughs> my hands. Um... By far, it's that's my favorite tool. I mean, I gotta, f I have to, I like to feel what I'm doing, right? Although, with that being said, I do not like the feeling of glue on my fingers. Can't stand it. Ugh. So whenever I get glue on my fingers, I need to wipe it right away. Okay, I really like this. I do, I do, I do, I do, and I think once you guys see how it turns out, you'll like it too. Okay bit more there yeah 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 okay I know it's probably really shiny for you guys but look at that I think that looks cool and it's gonna look a lot cooler when we cut it up now what I need to do is I am going to dry this with my heat gun and I'm gonna do that off camera just so it's not so noisy you guys have to watch that um, and then I'm gonna tidy up a bit so that we have a cleaner kind of area to work with so I'm gonna pause you guys um, you'll know nothing cuz I'll be right back in a blink of an eye really Okay, so I cleaned up a little bit and this is now dry. Now it looks like it's still wet here, but that is actually from that shiny paint that I put on. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and get this cut up so we can make little cluster pieces. We can make journaling cards, we can make tags. So this is kind of like a really great way to start um, creating some of your own ephemera is just doing something like this. Um, another thing I forgot to mention is if you have scrapbooking paper that you really are not fond of the pattern or you don't think it's something that you can work with, you can totally do this exact same thing with it. And sorry, fruit fly again. Um, you can totally repurpose it and like, don't throw it out. Don't, don't give it away. Just throw some gesso over top and um, stamp on it. Add some, you know, other mediums uh, either paint or gelatos like we did and yeah just have fun with it and and create create these uh, journaling cards and different pieces of ephemera okay let's get it cut up so I do want to start with I'm, I'm going to cut it upside down because I don't want to see what I get I think it's better that way it's more fun um, and then you're not so I don't know I find that I really get I don't know too f focused on trying to make something good. Whereas if I just relax and enjoy the process, it turns out way better than I could have ever planned in the first place. So I'm going to turn it over. Uh, now the back is, um, you know, as you can see a bit dirty from, from my work surface. Obviously this is my drop mat. I just stamp off on it and sometimes it transfers. I don't really care. Um, it adds interest to it. It's adds character. So let's start with, um, we could do, so 
some one and a half inch pieces. So I'm going to cut it on, so it's going to be eight and a half by one and a half inch here. So just kind of some small pieces. And then let's cut this. So we've got one and a half this way. Let's do two. Sorry, that fruit flies. Been, do you guys have fruit flies right now? My goodness, they're just, uh, they're insufferable right now. Okay, let's go one and a half by two and a half. Let's see what we get. Okay, again, not looking until we're done. And this one, if we did two and a half, then we're going to be left with too small of a piece. So let's try and split the difference as best as we can here, which is about... I would say one and three quarters, maybe a little bit more. I don't know, guys. Fractions, not my favorite. <laughs> As I say, I am too pretty to do math. So I tell my kids to go to dad. Dad loves mathematics. He does algebra and calculus and statistics and logic for fun, you guys. This is what he reads and just, you know, when he's hanging out. Okay, now let's go two and a half this time. Okay, and let's go two and a half by two. Let's see what we get out of those ones. Oh, you guys, the weather here has been amazing. We had one of the most beautiful summers, like hot, hot summers. And our fall, like we usually get that, you know, four letter S word. Um, in September, not a thing. I think I'll split the difference on this one again. Um, yeah, so we haven't had any of that four letter S word. And it, for Thanksgiving, like we sat outside for a while. It was gorgeous. So just beautiful. Okay, now let's do do some tags and we'll do three inch tags. I want to make some smaller ones. So three by two. Let's do that. Three inches by two inches. Again, the sizing of this really doesn't matter. We're just cutting them into different shapes and sizes. And I mean, we can even make, oh, I don't want to see it. We can even make these tiny ones into tags too. So just whatever size feels good to you. Okay. That's two. And then this one, we're doing that way, but I feel like that's a little skinny. I'm going to turn it again this way, maybe one and a half. Yeah, that looks about right. Okay. Now let's do some journaling cards. Let's do... Three and a half. Okay, three and a half by how big is this now? Um, this is measuring about seven. Half of seven is three and a half. Three by three and a half. Yeah. Wait, is it seven? Let's try that again. Like that there, so almost seven, so almost three and a half. Let's go there. Okay, so we've got some journaling cards. I'm gonna put those up there. Um, we have left here. This is again about seven. Um, let's do. Do four inches. Yes. So that will give us one big journaling card and either a journaling card or a tag. We'll figure out what we like. Okay, so we've got it all cut up, guys. There's that. I'm just gonna put my cutter away. All right. Now the fun part, we get to see what we've got. Let's start with the big ones. Okay, oh, 
that's cool. So that was one that could be a tag. And we've got that little bit of a shiny spot down there. Okay, I like that. A big journaling card. Okay, so it could go this way. It could go this way. We don't know. But I like that as well. There's potential in that. Another journaling card. And her other journaling card. Look, well, that's fun. See that? Those are great. Okay. So those are that one. Or those are that one? Those are those ones. Um, now let's take a look at some of these little ones that we're going to do for clusters. Okay. That one's mostly orange. It's got a little bit of color to it. And again, I chose to use just one stamp. You can use all sorts of different stamps on this. You don't have to use the same stamp. You can do um, like text, you can do animals, you can do geometric shapes. It doesn't matter. Just, you know, stamp them anywhere. Again, you don't have to cover the whole thing like I did. Um, I was just kind of playing around. That's cute. Um, so yeah, use anything you want, whatever you have on hand. Again, don't go out and buy anything. Oh, that's that shiny, shiny one. Don't buy anything in particular, you know, specifically for this project. It's to use what you have on hand. Oh, I like that one because that's kind of in the middle. That's nice. Now oh, that's funny. It's almost just the, the, um, the text of the, you see that? It's like the. Oh, are we focusing? I can't tell. I've got my glasses on. So, um, yeah, that's almost like the top of the, the traveler here. And then you can really see that pattern piece underneath um, kind of poking through. You know, it's the layers. It's the different layers that we want, guys, that really makes things interesting. Look how dirty my hands are. So, yeah, these are really great. Okay, I like this. Now comes the fun part is we get to decorate them well actually before we decorate them i do want to edge them up and i'm going to use my picket fence paper glaze this is i think the rose gold golden rose close enough same thing um and so i am just going to kind of give it even you know another step up here and i'm just going to take some pieces and i'm going to use my good old finger because again my hands are my favorite tool and I'm just going to add some gold. You see that? I'm going to add the gold all around the corners. So if you have like um, any other colors like silver or patina, um, you know, whatever you have, go ahead and, and use that just to put, um, again, another layer on. Like, look at that. Isn't that great? You know, just as that other layer, another, you know, something else for your eye to, to rest on throughout looking at the thing, the thing, the, <laughs> the, the um, cluster piece. And then you can add more things on. You can add uh, washi stickers, washi tape. Um, you can add, what do I have just laying around here? Um, you can add flowers. Um, oh, here's some more clusters. These are just clusters with paper. Uh, stamping, uh, fabric and sewing. I've got a doily, dictionary page, music paper. So there's different ways you can make clusters. Um, you can add stickers. Um, let's see, labels. Um, I'm just gonna pull some stuff out here, guys, that I think it might be fun to play with. Um, I'm not really feeling the flowers, though. I'm gonna stay away from those. We could do stamps, like postage stamps. But what I really want, I'm not finding. Let me we'll bring this over too. Okay, so I have, this is just kind of my mixed bag of ephemera from different ephemera things that I've purchased off of uh, uh, Etsy and um, what's that other place that we shop at? <laughs> uh, AliExpress. Um, this has got some, these are labels. Okay, I think this is going to be good. Tim Holtz people, I think that, I think that we could use these. Like, I feel like I need a guy. I need a guy. 
He's too big. Um, oh, these little boys. Right? How cute would that be? Maybe, a, a, you know, a little bit of dictionary page behind it just to kind of add another layer. Um, we could add lace. So there's really no limit to what how we can decorate these. So that's the fun part is decorating. So there's labels. I'm looking for my numbers. Where are my number? I've got words. Okay, I have my words out. We could do something with those could do tickets but where are my numbers I know that I have them there they are I really need to do a big cleanup you guys this is getting out of control okay so I do want to continue on with adding some of this so yeah I have <laughs> I am down to a month before my craft fair you guys and I don't have I have a journal from last year um, that I was kind of saving. I, I was going to post it on Etsy, but I decided not to. So I have like one journal from last year, but um, I don't have any like finished. I've got them like, you know, just kind of ready to put together and, but yeah, so there's that. I was ambitious. I got a whole bunch of Ooh, that's lifting. I got a whole bunch of stuff cut out and ready to go and kits put together. It's just finishing them. But now that I'm feeling better, all is good. I just can't, still can't move too quickly. Like I can't um, turn my head too quickly or turn, turn my body too quickly. I get, um, still get a little bit oozier when I first get up in the morning. Or if I've been sitting for a while. Um, but yeah. Oh, you know, these might be cool. I'm just looking at these. Um, I think I got some of these off of Collage Club. Digital Collage Club. I was watching um, 49 Dragonflies. And she had a code to... You know sign up at a discount for the lifetime membership and so I did that um, and I really enjoy really enjoyed their images and tons of free stuff so that's cute right you could do something like that little number yeah so many options okay so how about we finish something shall I get so excited I just don't finish all right, how much time do we have left? Well, we've got about half an hour. Well, I don't want to keep you guys too long. I don't know. I don't know how long. I would really, really like you guys to let me know if you're watching this. How long do you like your videos to be? Does it just depend on what, what I'm doing? Do you prefer shorter videos? Do you like the long craft alongs? Um, yeah, let me know. Because if you guys aren't into the longer videos, then I won't do them. I'll just try and find something short to do. But I, I find that it's nice to watch somebody do the entire process. Or just to, you know, have somebody in the background to listen to um, when you're crafting along. I often watch, um, watch my crafting people I subscribe to as I craft. And it's nice. I don't know. But yeah, let me know. Or if there's something specific, a specific theme or element, maybe you're looking looking to try, oh, I've got a new folio I want to show you guys too. But again, it has to work in <laughs> one of the journals I'm already doing because it need, they need to get done. Okay. Also, let me know where you guys are from. I'm interested to know where most of my subscribers are from. And welcome. Welcome to all my new subscribers, too. You guys are awesome. I love hearing about you, what you're up to. Um, if you haven't already, please go ahead, hit that like button. Um, it really, really does help, guys, if you do that. It, it costs you nothing. You just got to click that button. <laughs> but it, it makes a world of a difference for creators. All right. Um, 
And if you're interested in joining us for um, a Saturday Night Live Cocktails and Crafts, if you have a Zoom account and you want to join my mom and I and be on camera and hang out and chat with us, we would love that. Um, we will invite you. Just um, how you can get a hold of me is uh, to let me know you want to be a part of it is... Um, oh, um, is to send me an email well or you could leave a, a message um, down below but if you want to send me your information via email you can email me at Shala Frank which is my first and last name so C H A L A F R A N K at gmail.com and we would love it we would love you to join us on our cocktails and crafts now cocktails and crafts is not G-rated. It is very after after hours, adult based uh, humor discussion. So it might not be for everyone. So if you know you're not into having a beverage um, and you know sillier conversations when you've had beverages, um, it might not be for you. Maybe I don't know, but just an option I would throw out there for you. Okay, I'm getting there, guys. You know, this is a tedious process. Oh, I also want to try that salvaged patina. Um, okay, let's do this one. See, these are looking really cute. Okay, I need a wet, wet wipe. That one's dry, and it's not doing it for me. And I now, my fingers are all... Look, I've got the golden touch. <laughs> Who's that guy? Midas, right? It's Midas with the golden touch. And sadly, the only way I can remember it's Midas with the Golden Touch is because of the automotive, Midas Automotive, and their commercial when I was younger. <laughs> That's, I don't know if they're still around. I remember seeing them in Saskatchewan. Um, Midas Touch, yeah. I don't know if I've seen them here in Alberta, come to think of it. Hmm. Okay. You know what else I haven't seen in a while? Like the Michelin Man, right? Remember the commercials with the Michelin Man or the Green Giant? Oh, 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 Green Giant. Yeah, like all the good stuff from the 80s, right? All the good stuff from good commercials. Like, where's the beef? Oh, now I've got like Tony the Tiger in my head and Toucan Sam. Oh, my nose. It always knows. Ah, oh, nostalgia. Okay. Let me, so this is just, um, oh, sorry, my dog is, must be dreaming that she's running or something. Um, this is, uh, what do you call it? Press and seal. And I just use this to put over top of any medium that is like wet. And it just kind of adds an extra bit of, um, sealing to keep the air out and keep it more fresh. And yeah, it just seems to work well. And again, if your mediums get a little dry, a couple spurts of water usually, you know, reactivates them. Okay, let's try this Salvage Patina Distress Ink. Now, I am just going to go wild and... Am I? I was just going to use the pad, but I'm not so sure. Okay, maybe I will get a sponge. Take a little time and grab a sponge. I think this is my salvage patina one. If not, that's okay. All right. Oh, I just got this and it looks dry. I don't know. Okay, I really want to get this sponge good and juicy. I might have to buy a rain anchor. I mean, the sponge is still soft. Like, I think when your sponge goes hard, um, that's when you really need to replace replace your ink pad. I think as long as the, the sponge part is soft, you should be okay. Okay, that is not doing anything, which is kind of a letdown. Yeah, it's not giving me enough of what I want. What I really want is this stuff in green. So I guess I'm going to have to go buy something like that. 
Okay, well, I mean, we didn't know unless we tried, so there's that. So let's try our good old-fashioned standby. Tried, tested, and true vintage photo. Let's see what that does. Is that going to give us any edging? I mean, a bit. Yeah, that's, I mean, it's giving something. It's not as dark as maybe I would like. Um, you know what? Why don't we actually try, let's really just go kind of crazy with this. Let's try black soot. I think that actually might be something cool to try. And I messed up all my little ink cubes in my drawer when I was trying to get my inks out for my, um, I do a paper table runner on my island and then we do um, stamping on it and then we write what we're thankful for on it. So I used, um, I just grabbed a whole bunch of inks for my fall stamps and made a mess. Oh, I need a dauber. Dauber sponge. Where are you? That looks like you. Let's take you off and put you on. So yeah, let's use black soot. Ooh, I think this is going to be cool. Oh yeah. Can you see that? You see the edge on that now? I like that. Yep. Yeah. That's what we needed. Just needed to be a little bolder really grunges it up and makes it really old looking hey so cute and then to add a little focal point on there love 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 I'll go ahead and what do we want to do with that one did I say I wanted to make tags out of some of these this one I feel like because of the writing is like this I want to do just make this like a little cluster maybe I don't know I mean I don't we don't have to have the words facing up, right? But... Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. And then you could even come in, like ink it up with a black soot, and then let's come in with this. Let's see what that does. Ooh, I think that's going to make the gold stand out even more. Let's check it out. <gasps> Ooh. What do you think? Yeah, I should have done that with these, hey? Yeah. Well, there you go. We learned something else today. You don't know what to do or what you like until you play around, right? Or what, what you're kind of capable of creating. Ooh, I like that. So cute. Okay. Love, love, love. Um, I don't know if I'm going to... I'm not sure I'm going to add the gold to everything. I think I do want to just kind of keep some grungier like this. So let's go ahead and finish playing around with these. This one, let's grab our scissors and make this into a tag. Let me actually put this up over here. Um... Just angle it that way, flip this guy over, and then we should have a matching angle on the other side. I don't know, hopefully I'm okay for you guys. Like maybe, I feel like maybe I'm too far out. I don't know. If you want me to zoom in, let me know. Leave a comment. This has kind of got a Halloween vibe to it, doesn't it? kind of cool. I love purple and orange together. I think it's so cool because those that blue and red gesso that I put together is kind of purpley and then you got the orange. I think that looks cool. Very kind of Halloween-ish, isn't it? So let's do this into a tag as well. And then we just have some fun pieces that are ready to go and decorate. Right? 
And then you can just figure out how you want to decorate them for what journal, because, I mean, you can always change the colors up that you use. Obviously, I've got some fall journals I'm working on, so it's kind of my color scheme. But, I mean, this doesn't necessarily have to be. Okay. How much time do we have? We're at 45. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and I feel like I went around the corners on this and we'll go ahead and see if we can decorate something here before we have to go. We've got 15 minutes. I'm going to decorate this journal card is what I'm going to do. And maybe one cluster so you can see, see how I do that. But I mean, it's no different than decorating anything else, really. And see what I'm going to use these for is you can put them on the edge of a page. You can actually attach them to another tag. Like there's, you put them on a journal card. Like, yeah, there's, what happens if we add black over top of the gold? No, it's not bad either. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's no different really than, than decorating anything else we've done. These are so fun to do and they're awesome to have on hand. Like, look at this great ephemera stash I'm getting, right? Oh, I love making these. These were fun too. Yeah, I've got quite a great little, little stash going for future journals so that I'm not like having to spend so much time making ephemera. I can see if I have something already made that'll go in there to kind of augment it. Because, you know, when you start working on a journal, sometimes you get a little sick of working on the same one. So really what I should do is you know, work on more than one at a time and then they won't get so boring because I can switch it up. Okay, so we have this guy. This screams like it needs a Tim Holtz person to me. And I think I'm going to zoom in for you guys for this. There, is that better? I, th I feel like that's better. Let me know. I'm just going to grab a quick sip of tea. Mm. Yes, okay. I feel like you are screaming for a Tim Holtz person. Oh, too big though. You are too big. You are definitely too big. These big guys. And I accidentally closed his head into the container. So he's got a bit of a, you guys could work. He's got a little bit of a dent in his hat. What about you, sir? Too tall, too small. Okay. Uh, ooh. I mean, you could work too. Oh, sorry. You guys got a bad glare. But that? I mean, that could work. I mean, they're kind of cute as well. Okay, I need to make a decision. We don't have all day here. Let's go with the two little boys that I liked first. Super cute they are. I like to make up stories about my Tim Holtz people. <laughs> so, these guys are brothers. He's not happy that he's a big brother. Um, he wanted to be an only child, so that's why he looks like that. He was very unimpressed when his mom said that she was having another baby. And... Um, this little gaffer came along and just idolizes his big brother. In fact, you know what? This sounds an awful lot like my kids. <laughs> so let's use them. Uh, let's grab a page from Vintage Dictionary, which seems to be on my floor nice and handy. And we'll just do doop, this one here. Ooh, Jack in the Pulpit. Jambalaya. Jamboree. Doesn't matter, Shella. Just rip it out of the book. Okay. And that might be too big, but we can always rip it a bit smaller. But I feel like if we have a little, little something behind there, save that for something else. there. Well, if 
I said the glare. Oh, that makes it worse. I don't know. I don't know what makes it better. Oh, now I've like gone and dislodged my light. Hi, Mr. Betsy. Let's just leave that alone. Okay. What do you guys think of that? That's cute, right? But it needs something else. Um, it needs... Maybe it needs a label behind it. Find it on it. I don't know. I need something back there. Let's tickets. Tickets. Where are you tickets? Um. Nope. 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 Hmm. Okay. Well. Why do I feel like I'm losing my mind? I did. Oh, there they are. Jeez. Yes. Really need to clean up just aggravating myself now. This could be fun. Let's kind of bring in that red red color. Let's see here. Nope, like that. Let's take that off. It's not bad. Not bad, I say. This vintage dictionary is so, so brittle. Be so careful inking it. In fact, one of the reasons why I put this paper down is so that I could ink like this with the fragile papers. Okay. Now don't dip that into the black ink. That would be bad. But yet I kind of feel like I want to ink it with black ink. Yep. It's funny, you just you just don't know until you try. And then you're like, yep, that's it. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay, so we put that there. We put this here. You guys are going to go there. Nope. Feel like you need to kind of stand on the ticket. Okay. There. Oh, you guys got such a bad glare. Okay. And I mean, we could have words. Sweet moments to treasure. Ooh. Unstoppable. Be like that ticket I don't know I don't know about be believing I don't know about the ticket is it the ticket that's throwing me off hmm <laughs> nope maybe I don't want a label or a number Now I'm kind of changing the whole composition. Okay, I'm throwing that away. Okay. What do you guys think of that? Again, I'm starting to overthink. You see what happens? I'm like, uh, just, just put it down. Do I want that up there? Let's do it. Okay. So I'm going to put this down first, but I want to ink it first. I think this might be a sticker. I'm not 100% sure. Not 100%. Now I'm going over it with the black. Okay. Again, you don't have to ink everything in vintage photo or walnut, whatever. It is walnut stain. No, I don't think this is. 
I don't think that is a sticker. So let's just go ahead and glue this bad boy down. Just for a blue page here. Oh, I already took the lid off. And I still have glitter all over my glue from my daughter. If you Again, if you saw the, the live, you'll know that she was down here making a birthday card for a dear friend of hers for his birthday. And got glitter all over my glue stick. But that's okay. Just adds a sparkle. A little bit of interest and fun. Now I have a big glob of glue stick right there. Let's go ahead and smear that on with our fingers, even though I'm not enjoying the stickiness. It's okay, got a wet wipe. Okay. So, well, we didn't get as much decorated as I wanted to today, but on the other hand, that's okay because it is a process. Decorating is really what takes the longest amount of time. So, really just kind of wanted to give you guys an idea of some fun ways to make a bunch of ephemera and have it ready to go for your journals. Okay. I like to use art glitter glue for the Tim Holtz people. I just you know, they're a bit heavier, so I want to make sure they're not going to go anywhere. We don't need any Tim Holtz people escaping off of our ephemera. Okay. Yeah, I always wonder what the real story behind these people are. I mean, I know I make up my own own little story for them, but yeah. Who are you? Where did you come from? Okay, get in there. Where did you come from? What's your story? Even though I've made one up for you. There. I like it. It's cute, right? Again, you could have words, whatever. Add lace, some ladies, I don't know, whatever you like. Oh, I got a little bit of glue goober on him. Wipe that off. Okay, so there we go. We've got a fun journaling card all ready to go for a future journal. Again, it doesn't bother me that this is inky on the back. I just, I think it adds some extra character to the project. It's perfectly imperfect, as I like to say. Why do you feel like you're not sticking down there, dude? You need a little glue behind your head? Don't lose your head on me. Okay. There we go. Do we have time? Do we have time? No, we've got three minutes. Okay, so I'm really sorry, guys, that we only got one of these decorated, but I did want to kind of show you the process of, um, you know, cutting it up and putting on the extra mixed media layers um, and really just to for those people who tuned in for the live uh, they didn't get to see it finished so I did kind of want to finish this off um, for everybody so these are going to be so much fun I'm going to continue to play with these um, after I turn the camera off and uh, yeah get them done and decorated and put into this beauty of an ephemera box that we've got going on and yeah, so thanks so much for joining me for this video, guys. I hope you had fun. And remember, P.S. I love you.